Here at Rhino, our most popular product is the TriView. The TriView comes in a number of different configurations. The TriView Plus, test stations, vent guards, and TriView extensions, as well as a number of different color combinations that can help you differentiate your markers along the right of way. In this episode of Ask the Expert, we're gonna walk you through the manufacturing process step by step. The TriView is manufactured exclusively at our facility in Waseca, Minnesota. We start with our proprietary brand of thermoplastics we call Rhino Poly. Rhino Poly is more flexible and more resilient than high density polyethylene or HDPE. The virgin resins are piped from our silos to one of our extrusion lines where computerized controls and digital metering deliver consistent temperatures, pressure, and viscosity. The Rhino Poly is blended with a precise mix of UV stabilizers and pigment providing vibrant colors and the durability to withstand even the harshest environments. Heated by friction, the blend is fed from the head to the tooling where the vacuum pressure in our cooling tank give it its shape. The triangular profile emerges and is pulled along to an automated saw cut to length. Next, the triangular tube gets its cap. The caps are injection molded in our 90 ton press just a few steps away and they receive the same blend of pigment and UV stabilizers. The caps are fastened to the tube using galvanized staples to resist corrosion. The post is then taken to the punching station where it receives our patented tri-grip anchor. The bottom of the post is inserted into the punch where compressed air activates the tooling. The post is almost ready to be decorated, but first we need to flame or corona treat them. You see, all plastics have a surface energy that causes them to be non-receptive to bonding with printing inks or adhesives. The corona treatment equalizes the surface energy of the thermoplastic, making it receptive to permanent bonding. Our decals are printed with UV stable inks on a vinyl substrate with a low tack adhesive backing that cures over time. The decals are applied taking care not to touch the treated plastic as any contaminants could potentially interfere with adhesion. The finished posts are finally collected at the end of the line where a quality control tech will inspect them Count them one last time after they're loaded into a Gaylord and onto a pallet. Pallets are then forked over to the staging area where they're shrink wrapped, weighed, and tagged for shipment. There are TriViews in every U.S. state and Canadian province protecting pipelines and cables. We take that job very seriously and we work hard to ensure that they will perform that mission for at least 10 years.